Greetings to you my dear brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ. Today we are in the fourth Sunday of the ordinary time in the liturgical year. In last Sunday's gospel we see Jesus announced the inauguration of his ministry with a synagogue teaching from the prophet Isaiah saying the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news and the assurance that there is good news for the poor release for the captives sight for the blind and freedom from oppression and we also see Jesus finished by proclaiming that this was the year of God's favor and that today this anticipated prophecy was being fulfilled in their hearing Jesus points to himself as the fulfillment of the prophecy and as the one to offer salvation to all who hear him my dear brothers and sisters when we think about our own proclamation of the good news of Jesus we might ask ourselves is our message of good news for the poor and for the captive for the oppressed does our proclamation envision that all can be saved if our message is not as broad as jesus message then we must ask ourselves how can we proclaim the good news of jesus so that it is good news for all all who witness to the message of jesus respond in the same way with wonder with admiration and with amazement unlikely in the gospel of today we see the crowd wants jesus to do the same miracles in nazareth his hometown as he did in capernaum most likely the reason would be the people of nazareth feel that the hometown son should show them special favor and consideration and we see jesus continues his proclamation by saying no prophet is acceptable in his home country and my dear brothers and sisters for the first time in luke we see jesus is identified as a prophet but identify himself as the prophet will bring rejection in his life rather than acceptance in the place where he is well known and luke is telling us that jesus salvific ministry is available to all and that is the reason we see in luke's gospel there is an emphasis on salvation for both the jews and gentiles as well and that is the reason jesus is a messenger of good news for the whole world and uh, not for the selective few members of the society or the world therefore my dear brothers and sisters today we need to ask ourselves do we share with jesus his concern for the marginalized and vulnerable and the underprivileged in our ministry as priests and religious and our life as a christian beyond the cost beyond the creed beyond the language and beyond the boundaries of the world therefore today let us pray for the grace and the strength so that the message of good news is for all and thus we become the instrument of good news for all people irrespective of anything in their life may god bless us all live jesus